Hello amigos, what's up? Today I show you how easy it is to become an awesome filmmaker by using five easy camera movements. So stay tuned. As you might notice, there are so many incredible content creators out there who make really, really cool videos. And of course, nobody can learn to film or edit in just a few days, but with practice. So I have five very easy camera movements for you, which you can put into your videos and make your videos much more interesting. All those camera movements I'm gonna show you are done with my favorite filmmaking tool, a gimbal. I use the Crane 2 in this case, but of course you can use any other kind of gimbal. If you just have a smartphone with a Smooth 4 or a Crane 2 with a heavy camera setup, it really doesn't matter, you can use any kind of gimbal. Okay, with that said, let's start with the first camera movement. The first camera movement is the dolly shot. It's a very well-known type of camera movement that looks like a zoom in or a zoom out effect. Years ago you needed a rail system to get those kind of shots, but as you can see it's very easy to create this shot with a gimbal. If you have a short distance to your subject, you can just move your arms and your body. For dolly shots over a longer distance, you should pay attention that you make a smooth kind of ninja walk to avoid the up and down movement. The slider shot is very similar to the dolly shot, but from the side. I love to put something in the foreground to make this shot more interesting. In that case you can also be used as an establishing shot to introduce a subject. The tracking shot is one of the most used camera movements on a gimbal. You follow your subject from behind, the side or the front while it moves, obviously, and create interesting shots. If your subject is a person, like in this case, it is also cool if the person brings some extra motion into the shot, for example by turning around or switching the sides of the frame. Orbit shot is by far one of my most favorite camera movements. In this type of shot we circle around our subject and get some kind of a hero perspective like you see sometimes in video games. It's also very nice to introduce the location around your subject. Honestly, this name is invented by myself. It's actually some kind of jib shot, but more close. So we go from bottom to top or the other way and create movements within the camera even if the subject isn't moving. All those camera movements you have just seen are very easy. If you want to go a step further, you can try to combine them and make your videos even more interesting. Here's an example for you. Okay, here in this example we have a tracking shot because we are following her when she walks up the stairs. Just a very basic tracking shot, but now she's going to stand there and 
I move back and go into a dolly shot. This shot we have a close-up tracking shot, switch into a dolly shot and zoom out and track her again. This last shot also begins with a tracking shot. She go down the stairs. As soon as she is standing there, I switch into a dolly shot, zoom into her face and switch then into her orbit shot and turn around her. Now go grab your camera and your gimbal of choice and create something cool. If you like, you can link your video in the comments below and I'm gonna take a look at it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe to this channel so we can grow a little bit more. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.